Hi, Norman Hallett here with your next four minute drill for traders. But first, I want to give a shout out to Laura, our webmistress, who painted this oil painting of me for the holidays. Wow, fabulous, huh? That's cool. Thank you, Laura. Okay, by now, you've made your New Year's resolution and hopefully you have your new goals and aspirations clearly spelled out in a notebook or at least on a sheet of paper that you can get to easily. So now, I have a question for you. Now that it's already the third week of the new year, the question is, how are you coming with your New Year's resolutions, especially those related to trading? I ask this because in speaking to many of my trader friends, it seems that there are already many of them back in the same old rut. And when it comes to their trading, getting the same old anemic trading results. Now, because it's still early in the year, this is actually the best time right now to reconfirm your commitment to change, to improve, to get better results in your trading. And maybe for some of you, you may want to actually rework those commitments. I have a tip for you when it comes to creating goals. And and resolutions and that tip is two words think big when you strive for something grand something that is a real life changer your juices really start to flow and when obstacles to your goals get in the way you have the extra energy that vision of something big and great in front of you to move you past those obstacles if your goals are too small too easily reachable then when obstacles get in the way you're actually more likely to have the tendency to feel that the energy that it takes to overcome the obstacles is not worth spending and you dismiss your goal. That's not what you want. By keeping your goals grand, you'll be much more driven to succeed. Another tip is to state your big goal and then set some smaller goals, interim goals, stepping stone goals that lead you to the big goal. Now by doing this, you'll be better able to stay out of the gap. Now, remember from last week's drill, the gap is that no man's land area between your full grand goal and the actual progress that you made when you went for your goal. That difference between the big goal and the smaller actual achievement is the gap. This is the place we lament and feel disappointed that we didn't get to the full goal that we wanted. Rather than standing at the point of actual achievement and looking back at where we started and appreciating the advance that we did make, by hanging out in the gap, you sap your energy, you make excuses, and your positive view of the future will wane. By staying out of the gap and standing at your point of actual achievement, you look back and appreciate the progress you did make and turn back around to the big goal and renew your positive expectancy to reach that goal. Achieving the big goal is doable. It is doable. You just have to stay positive along the road and the best way to do that is to stay out of the gap. So take 30 minutes sometime in the next day or two and look at your New Year's resolutions. Are they big enough to motivate you, to excite you past the obstacles? Have you broken the big goal down to smaller achievable goals so that you stay out of the gap more easily? Stay out of the gap and focus on your positive expectancy. And you know what? Dreams can come true. You're powerful. And you can do anything you put your mind to. Hey, you're the disciplined trader. Okay, that's it for this week's 4-Minute Drill for Traders. So until next week, stay disciplined.